Hola amigos, amigas. I'm making this video for those who might not be aware that I came to the Lakeside area in 2019, but didn't start the YouTube channel until 2021. But when I first came and started exploring the Lakeside area in 2019, I was here in Ahihik, also started moving along to San Antonio, to Laia Capan, uh, here to Rabiris del Pilar, and Chapala. Also was going up here to Guadalajara and other surrounding cities like Tlacopaque, Zapopan, and I have been to Tonala, but have never shot a video in Tonala. Now, I also started branching out over here to West Ahihik, San Juan Cosala, and also small towns like El Chante and Chantepec, which are not, well, Chantepec is not listed on this map, but I was also going, when I first came to Lakeside, I also used to go to Hakotapec, and I still go to all these towns today, but recently, over the last year, I started going over here on the south side of Lake Chapala, towns like San Cristobal, which you can't see on this map. Well, here it is, right here, San Cristobal, excuse me. I've been through towns like San Luis Soyatla, Tuchqueca, and going all the way down to Mazamitla. So those are all beautiful towns, too. And I also um, probably took me... A about a year or so, or two, to get up and find this town, San Nicolas de Embada. I branched out, saw this town, really liked it there too. Now, San Nicolas de Embada is about, about five miles from Chapala Central. Also have been going to Ichloacan, and Ichloacan is a small, sleepy town, and that's about five miles from Centro Chapala. But also, I branched out and went to towns like Santa Cruz de Soledad, which is in here somewhere, not on the map, and then went out to San Juan, also to Mezcala, also have been up through here, and been to Alcatlan, and also Hamai and have been to all of the Malacons that are in this lakeside area, all the ones that I'm aware of. Now, Hamai, I found out, has the longest Malacon in the state of Jalisco. But I want to mention and let people know that you can explore this lakeside area. You won't do it in two days. You won't be able to do even... If you're going from Chapala all the way down here to Akotapec, I went and explored those places back in 2019 for the first time. But it takes time. It's not something that can be done in two days. I don't believe you can really explore these places in a week. You can get familiar with them. And yes, you will be exploring them, but... It will take you months and months to really get to know all of these towns and get to know them well. But you can become familiar with them as soon as you get to the lakeside area. Um, you'll start getting familiar with these towns and doing some exploring, which you'll be scratching the surface. But take your time, find the towns, uh, get to the towns, spend a day at least a day in each town, and then continue to go back. I always love going back to these towns, wherever I'm at, and the cities up here, whether I'm shooting YouTube videos or not. And I get a lot of enjoyment. So if you see me somewhere in the lakeside area, like quite a few do, please stop me, ask me questions, I've done a lot of exploration all around Lake Chapala and up here in the Guadalajara area. I can answer questions for you. 
I'll be happy to give you any kind of information that I've acquired through my experiences and exploring the lakeside area. I'll be more than happy to do so. Thanks for viewing. Tap on that notification bell. And I do know the lakeside area very well. So always happy to help whenever I can. Thanks for viewing.